My life changed on the 12th of June 1942 when I was called up into the ATS. It was a bit of a shock, but looking back it was an experience I wouldn't have missed. I went from Fence House Station and did my initial training at Durham University. We were given our uniforms there and had a number of inoculations, which wasn't very pleasant. They are much improved now. I was there a month and were not allowed out. From there I was pushed to a training camp in Carlisle. I was there three years and worked in the company office where I did company orders and I had to learn to type. We did PE every morning at 8am before breakfast. Every Tuesday night we trained to march and the food was terrible. That is the downside of it. We had a camp cinema and a dance every week, which was the highlight of the week. We were about 50 girls among 500 men, so you can use your imagination. From there I was posted to Skegness, where I had a really nice summer. There was a small hotel on the front called the Sun Castle, and they had tea dances every afternoon. After that I was posted to Warminster on Salisbury Plain. We were about four miles from the nearest village and our only means of transport, the back of lorries. We had every weekend off and used to go into London where there were a lot of hostels catering for these services. Of course we went to dances which were always available. The celebrities and stars used to come and help and entertain. We had a great time. From there I was demobbed in 1946. We were given a gratuity. I can't remember how much it was. And clothing coupons. I had a lovely time getting all new clothes after being in uniform for four years. We couldn't wear civvies even on leave. I have good memories and bad ones. I made friends with girls from all over the country. I still hear from two of them at Christmas. It is amazing after nearly 60 years. There won't be many of us left. Of course, everything changed when the Americans arrived. Thousands of them arrived in Glasgow and travelled down to our camp overnight and then on to the south coast assembling for D-Day. I often wonder how many of them survived. The dancing all changed, the jitterbug, jiving. I could never do it. But believe me, most of the girls enjoyed it and other things as well, because we won't go into that. I am 88 now and it is strange I can't remember what I had for my dinner yesterday and yet can remember all that period of my life. That's life, I suppose. Good times and bad times. <laughs>